layer two photos in, you can see over here on my layers, I have um, this monochromatic photo. I can click the eye for visibility. Now I have uh, this screenshot I took from a web page of an example of a complementary color pair. And to transform it, you have to make sure you're on this layer and you have to rasterize it first. So you're going to go to layer rasterize, which is fixing the size of the picture, and making it into pixels. Then you're going to go to edit transform. Um, I don't want to do any of those. Whoop. So edit transform. Yeah, scale. I, I must have been on. Um, image and not edit. So I'm going to select it first. It's making me select it. So the arrow tool doesn't select it in this program. Again, edit, transform, scale. I'm going to scale it down. And then I have to click the checkbox. Um, over here, this is just the source of where I got this photo because I didn't take it. You are going to have to take your own photos. Um, over here, I'm going to edit out this little piece. So I'm going to select this and edit just in case you need to make any edits and then hit delete. Uh, to add a text box, you should add a text for a text box for each. Uh, I'm going to click and drag to make my text box. You can just click and it'll let you type, but to keep it contained. Um, um, you can make a text box. So I wrote monochromatic. And I'm trying to highlight that. some reason it does not want me to highlight it. Oh, there we go. So you're going to write monochromatic under one and under the other, you're going to put a uh, complementary color pair. or just complementary colors, I guess. Now I'm going to crop my canvas. Actually, I'm not going to crop my canvas because I sized it already. Um, up here, you're going to go to File, Export As. We can save this as a Photoshop file, but for now, let's just save it as a JPEG. Say save, give it a title. Um, let me bring this down. I'm going to write uh, color theory photos and hit save. And then upload that to your web page and to Google Classroom.